Thursday, September 23rd, 2024. Welcome to the show. Looking good, everybody. Okay, that yeah. ended abruptly. <laughs> Love you, too. You know, I don't mind telling you, I don't mind telling you, it is our first show here without Art Moore. Uh, <laughs> how are we doing, you may ask. <laughs> how are we doing? Well, so far, I've FaceTimed Art from Central Park to see how he was enjoying his, you know, first days as a retired person. And oddly, he was here in the building in a full suit and tie. I'm not kidding. What I, day was this? It was uh, Friday? Friday. Okay. I thought he'd be like Gone. out the door. No. I thought he would be on a beach. I thought <laughs> screwdrivers in every hand, a Bloody Mary in between his socket feet on the beach. <laughs> nope. Nope. He was here, uh, still working. We should call him one morning, though. What do you think, Michael? Call him every morning. One of these days? Maybe, ne maybe ne next week, maybe? Yeah. Call him. He's going to make a possible surprise appearance at some point. Ah, I All know. All right, okay. I know. When or why. My codependency knows no limits. <laughs> I literally am going to FaceTime him every I was, day. I was in Maine. I was in Lewiston, Maine oh, this nice. weekend. I know. Um, I hosted this... Uh, this beautiful evening for the Dempsey Center. Patrick Dempsey has this um, amazing, amazing uh, foundation. Um, they support cancer, cancer patient survivors care, and their care partners and their loved ones to improve their emotional, physical, and functional, and social and familial well-being through their unique individual journeys with cancer. It's I heard so many great stories. Yeah, they the raised way. they raised a lot of money. Here I am telling, oh, look at telling you. jokes. You are <laughs> telling jokes. Mm. You have a dazzling smile. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Um, there, there I am with the sexiest man in the world, Patrick Dempsey. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah, a lot of spandex. The, 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 next reigning, day, the reigning sexiest man alive. The next day, we went on a bike ride, did 25 miles. Um, I, I, I forgot how much I loved you. I mean, you. there's yeah. the sexiest man alive. <laughs> Look at you. Lucky um, bicycle. Such a great, a great thing that they, they, they've been doing. Um, you know, it used to be just in Maine and South Port Portland and, and Lewiston, but and now you can do it virtually. So They're if you're expanding. looking, if, you, if you've been affected, like many of us and our family members have been affected by cancer, um, look into the Dempsey Center. It's a, it's a fantastic endeavor. Yeah. I'm glad you did that. That's a really good. Yes. I got a lot out of it. Yeah, I got, I got, I got, I got way more out of it than uh, me hosting that for somebody else. I got, oh. I got so much out of it. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's that's how that works. That it is. Yeah. Um, speaking of the sexiest man alive, there's a lot going on <laughs> in in television in the broadcast landscape now. I don't know if you saw this. I did. Plea. Yeah, I saw it. That Jimmy Fallon put out. Do you want to talk about it? Yeah. Well, okay, you know. So, uh, yeah, let's talk about it. No, go ahead. So, People Magazine every year puts out their Sexiest Man Alive issue. Which I think... Which I think is really robbing us because there's tons of sexy dead people, you know. And they just are immediately off the table because of the whole alive moniker. But whatever, I digress. So, last year... Uh -huh. You were voted the sexiest daytime talk show. Daytime talk show host yes. <laughs> yes. alive. Very, very narrow. Very narrow. It's like a narrow, a narrow are category. You, are you suggesting Mark is the only male daytime talk show host? <laughs> I'm trying to think of others. Well, there were others. They had him in a category with three others. Yeah, I don't okay. recall who okay. they were, but they were not as sexy as deemed by you. You, the people. I think Al Roker, Al this Roker was This is the most consequential election of our time. Uh, so now... Uh, Mark, People yes. Magazine has put you in again. Now, this is the sexiest. They're not just, they're not just, you know, daytime, puh, puh. morning show host, forget it. This is just the sexiest TV host alive. Ooh. And look at, oh. look at who the competition is now. <laughs> See, they've got, they've got the box. 
walks around you because you're already the reigning champion. champion. Right. But Jimmy Fallon apparently has put out a plea. plea yeah, a plea. He, he, asked, he, he asked if I would step aside. <laughs> And I love Jimmy. I really do love Jimmy. I think he's such a he's great, great guy. And, you know, I was, over the weekend, I was considering it. I'm like, you know what? Maybe I should pledge my support. And yeah, take was gonna, yourself out anybody, of the room. Like myself, Oprah did at the daytime, daytime Emmys. Emmys. Yeah, so somebody else could win. So somebody else could and, win. Um, and I was like, you know, maybe I should come on the show on Monday and, and say, you know, if, if you're going to vote for me, might as well vote for Jimmy. But then I reconsidered. <laughs> I said... You do that. Yeah, maybe after I win a bunch. But after the first ten, ten wins. And I've got me some stiff competition. I mean, it's me. It's Mario Lopez is there as well. So I mean, Seth Meyers. Seth is Myers, there. Yes, I love. I love all these guys. I have to say, from a sexiness standpoint, and I believe me, I I, I love me some Seth Meyers. I love me some Jimmy Fallon. I love me some Mario Lopez. Mm. But from a sexiness standpoint, you're, you are the sexiest. Yeah, you're not exactly. <laughs> You're not, you're not partial. You're not partial. No, but I, 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 I actually have a zoomed out perspective. Oh, you do? Yeah, you're I do. Out. Like, I, I, believe me, I want, you know me, I want to vote against you. Nothing like, <laughs> I love, I love you when you're defeated by our trivia callers. Yes. I, like, nothing thrills me more than you getting taken down a peg or two. Have you voted yet? <laughs> Many times. Many times. <laughs> vote, vote. Early and often. Yes. Um, uh, I think voting is So you can vote Friday. every day, right? I don't, yeah, I don't know. Can, yeah. Multi, you, Gilman, are you voting right now? Show. I see your phone I'm, is I'm in voting, your hand. No, I'm voting right now. You yeah. are voting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I encourage <laughs> other people to vote immediately. Are you voting too, ma'am? People have their phones out. They're voting as we... <laughs> well, you know you're really succeeding when your audience takes out their phones and starts doing other things. <laughs> anyway... <laughs> If, if I don't win, I would love I would love for I would love for Jimmy to win if I don't. Win. You would love for Jimmy to come in second. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> uh, What's that? We could do a sexy stump mark. Oh, a could, sexy yeah, a sexy edition. Kind of a duel. Oh, I like that. That's actually a great idea. Where it's just a sex sexy, off. a sex off. <laughs> This all sounds wrong. So, uh, hey, listen, let me switch gears. Let me switch gears. Yeah, there was a lot good. of football on this weekend. Woo! The University of Michigan be yeah. beat USC. They haven't played. I think it's 27 to 24 or something. It was a tight game. It was back and forth. It was smash mouth. It was a great smash game. Smash mouth football. Yeah, it was a yeah, great game. Yeah, it was a great game. So it's, it, congratulations to University of Michigan for beating, uh, for beating the, the, the Trojans. Um, and then football. Um, the Jets won yesterday. Or the Jets won Thursday. It was Thursday. It was Thursday. And the Giants. The Giants won. It's a miracle. First game. And um, the I Eagles. Love New they, York. We're always so shocked when we win. Yeah. We won. <laughs> the Eagles won. Your Eagles beat the Saints. And then my Buccaneers. Oh uh, yeah, they lost. They lost against the Broncos. Baker. Baker wasn't baking yesterday. It's okay. He took a day off. He took a day off. It wasn't his fault. They man the the the. The Broncos played a great game. They played. I mean, they were just all over them from the from the beginning. I knew it was one. It was one of those games. I you could had tell. a feeling. Yeah, I could tell from the beginning. It was just like they they took it to us. You always have a feeling after the fact, though. You always know they were going to win after they won. Yeah. Well, I recorded it, so I was trying not to watch the score as I was rewinding rewinding the game, and I was you know trying to do that one eye. Oh yeah, one I eye thing. hate when. By the way, we decided to go. It was a gorgeous day in Central Park yeah. yesterday. No rain this week. Weekend, right? Oh my no, God. it was supposed to rain, gorgeous, but it... gorgeous, gorgeous. Uh, and so Mark said, I said to Mark, would you like to go for a walk? And he goes, yeah, what time? And I go, okay. <laughs> what time do you want to go for a Sunday, walk? It's Sunday. And he goes, well, it's nice. We should go, we should, we should get out there early before the weather changes. And I go, okay. <laughs> and I go, but don't you have a game you want to watch? And he goes, eh, no, 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 I'll record it, and that way I don't have to rush. So I do what I do if I think I'm going to be walking with someone. 
I leave my headphones home. Oh, no. Because normally if I walk on my own, I'm listening to a podcast, I'm, you know, I'm walking with purpose. But with Mark, sometimes we will have conversations if we walk. And sometimes we don't. So as soon as we leave, as soon as we leave and we get into Central Park, he tells me, listen, I'm just going to walk with you for 25 for minutes, 25 minutes and, then turn and then turn around and go back. And then you can finish out the walk by yourself because I have to get home to the game. <laughs> and I am immediately enraged. I am put into a march. Like, I am pacing myself. I could have been theoretically jogging. That's how fast I was walking. And he says to me, can we slow down a little bit? My toe hurts. <laughs> I was saying my toe hurts. I had cramps. I had cramps. I had cramps. Like, I'm cramping. I had a cramp. And I go, no, I want to get you home in time for the game. So he goes, no, there's no rush. I'm recording it. So then every time we walk by anybody who's got what seems to be like a radio or a boombox or a listening device, he would plug his... It was an insufferable walk. I couldn't wait. I couldn't wait for it. I thought it was a nice walk. We walked fast. We were sprinting. Yeah, we had to get you home. We had to get me game. home to watch my game. The, the temperature did change later on. It got a little cool outside. Yeah. Anyway, this week, what are, we, what are we doing this week? This week, the weather is, um, I don't know, it feels like fall, looks like fall weather here. Yeah, a little rain. A little rain. We need the rain, Gelman. Yeah, we do. I can't wait. We definitely need the rain. It's going to be in the 60s this week and then uh, up back up into the mid-50s by the weekend. Mid-70s. Mid-70s, yeah, mid-70s. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And uh, just warning you, I know a lot of you have come in from out of town. Uh, we are on a gridlock alert. Oh, yeah. Uh, I like to... Our street where we live, there are a lot of... Um, embassies. Embassies. And... It's you and week. It's a really beautiful uh, area to live, except for this week where it turns into. I like to liken it to the New York Times crossword puzzle. So today was an easy day, <laughs> but for the rest of the week, Gelman, I'm pre-announcing that I will be late for work <laughs> because it is impossible to I get early down our street, through our street, around our street, yeah. past our street. I have to negotiate with the cops, and I am thrilled that we have them. They work so hard this week, but convincing people that you actually really do live right there. <laughs> I swear I live right there. Here's my license, which, by the way, I don't drive, so I never carry my license on me, <laughs> and so I always forget my license, and then I can never get onto my street. So it is... Yeah. An impossible week. You, so. The UN Assembly. UN is Assembly in, yeah. is in town, yeah. so beware. A lot of <clears throat> gridlock alert. If you're trying to move around, you should check where you're going. If you're going to see plays tonight, you have to leave, leave, leave now. Leave right now <laughs> to get to the yeah, theater. Get, just get start walking. Yeah, yeah, UN. I call it the UN. Not un, 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 the un. un. Nothing's going to be moving this, this week. Uh, huge show. Today. Yes, we got a big show. Jay Farrow is here. to the season week with tips on how and when to make the most of your fall foliage road trip. Oh, look at you, foliage. foliage. <laughs> oh, how French. <laughs> and last week, we broke many world records, including one with our very own Art Moore. Yeah. We will take a look back later in the show, which means a guest must have canceled. <laughs> It's a recap. It's a I recap. know, I'm kidding, Gelman. <laughs> Just kidding. The audience got it. Don't be so... <laughs> all right. It's the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to play. <laughs> okay. Let's say hello to Jennifer Morris from Surfside, Texas, who watches the show on KTRK. Um, she wants to stop me to enjoy a beverage on the beach from the trip she's going to win. Oh, I like it. Ooh. Oh, Jennifer, uh, spicy this morning. Now, my card says Surfside. Is it Surfside Beach? It's Surfside Beach, Texas. Okay. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Okay. All right. Uh, he, you know how this game works, right? You've given us two statements. One is true, one is false. I have 60 seconds to figure out which statement is true. If you, want, if you stump me, you will win this. Oh, and yeah. that. Yeah. 
Here are Jennifer's two statements. My husband and I got married on the beach. Or, I've been to five state fairs in five states. Ooh. 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 All right, so um, where did you get married? In Surfside Beach. Okay. How many people were on the beach? How many, how, was it a big wedding? Uh, there's about 60. Mm, about. Okay. Um, did you wear shoes or did you go barefooted? I wore like little jewelry. They're called, um, they're like flip flops. They go in between your toes, but it's bejeweled and no bottom on it. So pretty much barefoot. That's nice. Okay. Um, and you had good weather? Yes, great. Great. Okay. Tell me the five state fairs that you've been to. Okay, I've been to Texas, obviously, um, Louisiana, Oklahoma, Colorado, and Minnesota. Ah, okay. How was the Minnesota State Fair? It was hotter than we thought it was going to be because it's in August. Mm -hmm. So we kind of thought we were going to get a little cool down, mm. but it was in the 80s. Mm. Yeah, I know you. there was a state fair in August. It in was Minnesota. 100 degrees. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was hot there, but she also was very specific about the kind of shoes she wore on the beach. That was a very specific detail about what she wore on the beach. Uh-huh. But also, it's really, she knew about the Minnesota State Fair, because you were in Minnesota during the State Fair. Uh-huh. Right? This is not my game, so don't try to suck the answer out of me. No, but you were there. I was. You were there, and it was hot. Hot. Minnesota, like, who goes to the State Fair in Minnesota? It's an amazing state fair. A lot of people, right. But has she been to five state fairs? That's a lot. It's a lot of state fairs. I'm going to say you were married on Surfside Beach, Texas. You're right. It was that detail. It was that detail of the shoes. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah. Sorry, you didn't win the mug or the t-shirt. Have you been to the Minnesota State Fair? No, actually, we were supposed to go in August, and our friends lived there, and I broke a rib. Oh, right no. Oh, my gosh. This sucks. <laughs> I'm sorry, you didn't win the mug or the T-shirt, but you still have a chance to win a valuable trip. It's time for Great Getaways Travel. from San Ramon, California, who is, I don't believe this, but I'm about to say it, you are celebrating your 70th birthday? Just two days. Yeah. Love you, Mark, love you, Mark. You look great. Thank you. Okay, we should all have what Sam Lee is having. Yeah. Wow, wow Wowee! happy birthday. Thank yeah. you, Kelly. Thank you, okay, Mark. Okay, Deja, Okay, Jennifer, you're playing for a trip for two to the veranda in Antigua. Seven days and six nights in a waterfront suite. It is all-inclusive. It's a prize valued at $8,000. Wow. You have 20 seconds and only one guess. Good luck. Okay, Jennifer, here we go. Uh, last week, we talked with Ava Mendez. At what mall did Ava say she worked before she became an actress? Glendale Mall. Yes! Congratulations. You and a guest will enjoy seven days and six nights at the Veranda Antigua. This all-inclusive adult-only resort features a variety of restaurants and bars, white sand beaches, four pools, unlimited water sports, and more. Do it all or retreat to your modern waterfront suite and enjoy pure relaxation. Your prize is valued at approximately $8,000. Jennifer, congratulations.
Thank you so much. I'm so excited. All right. Now you get to make the day of a lucky member of our studio audience who will receive a Typher Dome air fryer valued at approximately $500. So please pick a number between 1 and 170. 169. Oh. 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 There we go. on the audience. That's amazing. <laughs> Back when we used to prank the audience. <laughs> All right, now he's as funny as he is talented. Please welcome stand-up comedian, actor, and impressionist Jay Farrow! <laughs> great. I am feeling great. What's going on, New York? <laughs> Jay, the king of impressions. Hey, are, you, are you working on one right now? Uh, you know what, man? I've been working on uh, Wesley Snipes, Ooh, you know? Okay. And a lot of people don't realize Wesley Snipes. I didn't, and I didn't realize what his voice sounded like. His voice sounds like Black Plankton. You know, Plank, you know Plankton from SpongeBob, but he's, <laughs> but he's like the black version of it. He's like, well, you know, uh, I don't understand uh, what's happening today. Um, I paid my taxes, uh, so <laughs> uh, everything's good, and uh, I met Kevin Hart, and now I'm back on top, baby. You know what I mean? He's just That's real great. Really good. Yeah, and, and really you know good. What? It's a very astute observation. Yeah. And John Witherspoon, too. Y'all remember John Witherspoon? Of course. That's my guy. Rest in peace to him, but yeah, buddy, it, it's kind of the same. It's in the same register. Yeah, buddy, got some hot sauce, mad sauce, a couple of beautiful women, and my hot sauce with my burrito, baby. Bang, bang! You know, like that. You know what I'm saying? So, what is this? It comes. <laughs> It just comes. You, like, you really have to have a brain yeah. that is like, you know, they say, I, I don't know what the percentage is, how much of our brain we use. I believe you use more. every part of your yeah. brain. Yeah, hey, man, you know, I, I wish I could I could, uh, I could change these chicken prices. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I just read about it. <laughs> Do something prices. about that. It's getting, it's getting tough. Chicken is what? It's $400 for a two-piece? It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy right now. What's, who's your favorite person to impersonate? Do you have a favorite? I don't even think I have a favorite one. I just... I just go into it and do it, you know. Uh, I just, I just do it. I don't have a favorite one. Right, who was the first person you impersonated? It was uh, Gilbert Godfrey. Uh, uh, yeah, well, he's very yeah. impersonatable. Of course. I'm Mountain Jeffrey. Here we go. <laughs> it's just crazy. It's this thing on. We all hear you, brother. We hear you. And he doesn't. And off stage, Gilbert Godfrey does not sound like he that. Doesn't? On stage, he is so docile. He's like, he was like, hey, 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 yeah. you know, hey. When you get on stage, he's like, all right, everybody, what's up? There's a lot of screaming, man. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of screaming. You recently posted this picture of yeah. yourself as a little baby. Yeah, there you go. I mean, wow. you Smooth. are. I look <laughs> like, I look like I'm handing out watchtowers. That's what I look like. <laughs> Where were you here? Where are you heading? <laughs> I was, uh, I was eight years old uh, in that picture, you know, and look at him. I was eight years old going on 47. That's crazy. <laughs> That's crazy, but I might still have that jacket. It might. I was, you see, I was chunky right there. You see that little belly no. right there? I had the Wendy <laughs> Dupuy belly. Look at the middle of that. No, come no, on, that's no, a no. double no. breast it's jacket. Double. Yeah, because I had double the breast. <laughs> <laughs> I was a chunky. I was a chunky little kid, man. But I, I grew, I grew out of it. Cause uh, when I gained weight, uh, it, it's not like regular men. You know, a normal men they gain weight here. They gain weight. You know, maybe you know somewhere up. I gain weight. I turn into a um a, a, a good looking woman you know what I'm saying <laughs> I start I gain weight I start looking like my sister it's wild you know so really? yeah yeah this hey hey so this is a lot no, of running and cardio oh, yeah, yeah. You gotta you're, still, wow. you're still doing it gotta be careful yeah I'm still on my tick man I feel good man Were you feel performing good. at that age as an eight-year-old I wasn't I was performing I was performing for like my my classmates mm -hmm. but classmates, I wasn't your family my family like, I wasn't not really performing for my 
my mom and my dad because I feel like those two yes. were the funniest people to me. Really? And I was always shy because I didn't I didn't want my I didn't want to bomb in front of my parents. You know what I mean? Right. I'm like, oh, you don't want to say a joke and they don't like it. And they'd be like, oh, we gotta, we gotta, we gotta take them to the adoption agency. You know what I mean? So <laughs> But they're they're so funny to me, man. So um uh yeah, I was I was making my friends laugh, you know, and um uh <laughs> I remember the teachers would leave the classroom and I would impersonate the teachers. Oh yeah. And then there was a kid that would keep watch out. He'd be at the door looking like this, like, all right. He'd be like, hey, man, stop. Miss Danko coming back. And we'd all just come in. When she come back in, everybody'd be laughing. And she'd be like, why is everybody laughing? They'd be looking at me like... <laughs> Can you still impersonate Miss Danko? Uh, I mean, it's, it, I mean, it's, uh, I could, but don't nobody know Miss Danko. <laughs> I don't even know if, you know what, thinking about it now, because I am about to be 37 next month, I don't even know if Miss Danko is still with us, because that was, that was second grade. And if she is with us, you know, she's, she definitely got some tubes on her somewhere. She, <laughs> she, <laughs> were back then. You yeah. just perceive them to be older. Yeah, but isn't it crazy because now everybody, the older folks are looking younger and back in like the 80s and the no, 90s, no, they look people old. Yeah. look like they were old. Like a 34-year-old back then ancient. looked like a 60-year-old yes. now, you know? <laughs> yes. Like Sherman Hemsley, when he did that, he was young. He was young. <laughs> yes, he was. When he had the top and his hair was thinning, he was, he was 27. Crazy. <laughs> That was a clip from your comedy special, Jared. Now, yeah. you're talking about your grandma there. Yes. Did you ask her permission I, to I had discuss to. her? I, I had to because the joke that, that goes after that, we can't play it on the show. So, now, most of the jokes we could not play yeah, on the yeah, show. Most, yeah. Yeah. I had to, so I had to ask her. I said, Grandma, are you cool? Because she told me the story. They, look, this, they, when, when you see some of the things I say, they are directly from the horse's mouth. Like, she said this, and um, it's, it's a little, it's kind of salacious. And I said, Grandma, are you sure? She was like, ah, nah, I love it, baby. Go ahead, use me, use me, in the name of Jesus. I said, all right, cool. I well, they're cool. at that age where they really don't care what people think. No, older people do yeah. not care. Once you get, yo, once everything stretches, um, <laughs> things start drooping, you ain't caring, you know. Once you can take your skin and flap around like this, you really care what you say. If you are if you are overweight and unattractive and you walk past a group of uh, uh senior folks, they will let they'll hurt your feelings. They'll let you know. <laughs> They'll be like, mm, mm God is good, but not all the time in your case. Not all the time <laughs> in your case. So that's why I love older people. Older people and kids. Kids will tell you. They'll be like, mommy, your breath stink. You'll be like, oh snap, okay, well, you know. That's how kids are. It's just because they're honest. Yes. Honesty. And that's the best policy, man. So shout out to Gertrude Farrell, my grandma. Yes. Man. Shout out to her. It's always great having you on the show, yeah, man. Yeah, man. Come back Love and see us. Jared, premiere September 22nd on YouTube. Đánh cao. Các bạn ơi, cái mặt con gorilla này nó xấu thì chứ. Nó phải khen sao mặt mà xấu như vậy. Thì... Ê chị mới chơi nó xấu rồi mà nó đánh chị chết queo <cười> Nội tại sao tại sao Tại sao đánh tôi chết queo Đúng là con gui là xấu xí Quýnh lạnh Ủa rồi cái đảo đâu ta Là mỗi lần chết là phải đi vậy ha Hay mỗi chân nha Đâu Để uh, xác định phương hướng trước coi Bên kia à Phải trong game này có cái xe chạy cũng được Nhưng đi bộ không chạy mệt chết 
chấm 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 đó điểm nào các bạn ơi nó khó hơn mình nghĩ á rồi nó chạy đó nè <cười> ủa các bạn ừ cái đảo kìa mình không thích đi đường bình thường mình thích đi đường nó 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 nó, nó khó khăn xíu vậy đó ở phải bên kia có chết in được cái ta bên kia chết in được cái mỏ lòng mình chết mình khỏi về bên đây tại sao mình phải dùng chiêu như con khỉ bệnh mới được là đánh xong rồi chạy ơi da 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 ở đây chưa 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 mình 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 đánh xong rồi mình phải thở cái <cười> 